Hello once again guys and gals, Phantom Null here, and we're back playing some Risk Tier in Item Shop's Tale. Uh, as you recall, last episode I said, hey, it's time to go adventuring, and indeed I think it's time to go adventuring, except for the fact that now it looks like the town square is flashing and I'm wondering what the heck is going on. Okay, but they did say that, that going to the town square, the chapel, the market, the merchant's guild, any of that will not spend time, so I think we can see this event and safely go to the adventurer's guild uh, afterwards. Uh, without concern. So we're gonna take a bit of a gamble here, but I think this will be alright. Oh, it's Louie. Hmm. Alright, yes. What's going on, Louie? Talk to me. No. Come on. What's going on, Louie? <laughs> okay, we're gonna find out what's going on with Louie. Tear doesn't want to get involved because she's a bitch. Alright. Set Tear, what's up? What are you doing? Got hungry, you're looking for some grass or herbs, wow, uh, that's pretty sad. <laughs> Louis probably needs to, uh, to go to the Adventurer's Guild more than we do, uh, being that he's trying to eat grass. <laughs> Alright, so we helped him out. Remember to wash it. <laughs> Alright, great, so we had a little event with Louis there. And now we are going to uh, to hire Louis to go adventuring. Okay, and now he does have a price. Uh, I thought he probably would, but that's okay. 550 uh, picks seems like a pretty pretty uh, small price to pay in, in order to uh, take him along and collect a lot more in all likelihood. Okay, I don't think we have anything that's going to help him. Yeah, he's got the old muffler, he's got a worn sword, so yeah, we're just going to depart. We'll have all uh, 20 of our slots, yeah, 20 slots open, and uh, it's time to get moving. We've done the Hall of Trials, I think we're ready for the second dungeon, Jade Way. Um, though it is unfortunate that, you know, we haven't increased Louie's equipment at all, but that's okay! I think we'll be alright. It is uh, past Christmas now, so I hope everybody had a happy holiday, whatever you may or may not celebrate. <laughs> Uh, equip items and bags, sure, though there's nothing really for him to equip. Alright, so, I don't know. Uh, looks like we can go north or east here. We're gonna head north. And, okay, we have some weird mushroom thing. Uh, probably something like what Louie had for lunch. Uh, maybe reset by the sounds of things. Oh, jeez. Ah, this guy again. I hate these guys. Some goblin things. Alright, we got the slime. Got another ingredient. We did take three damage already. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Those things are fast. Okay. No problem. No problem. Oh, jeez. Actually, yeah. I could have made use of that skill a lot uh, easier if I had uh, used it from the beginning, but I didn't, so, eh, you know. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. Be happy. Come on! Ugh. It's annoying when they fly too high for you to swing. I seem to, uh, to vaguely recall that as well. Okay, there's our exit, but we are going to continue to explore. Keep going south here. We've got these weird... I have no idea. It looks like a peanut with tentacles. Some, there's some weird tentacle rape joke in there, but uh, I'm not the one to make it, so use your imagination. Uh, ingredients, got another slime here, no problem. Easy peasy. Okay, that's something he's going to be able to equip. So we'll go to the equip screen, uh, optimum equipment, and indeed now he has the wooden helm on. Hopefully that will decrease the damage we're taking by a little bit. We did gain a level. Uh, so we are back at full HP. Oh, and now we've got a better helm. That's fantastic. Okay, so, bam. Now, we're going to go around here and approach, we're going to take out this enemy for a little extra experience, and then we're going to approach uh, from east rather than going north over here. And this should be the last area. Oh, little snow bunny thing. Okay, so it dodges, but not when it's in a corner. Uh, we got a fur ball. Alright, and it looks like that's it for this floor. We'll take out this enemy, then we'll head west, and we will exit the floor. Uh, things are going very well. Uh, we're still facing extremely easy enemies, being that, you know, this is only the second dungeon. And the, uh, first floor of the second dungeon, that. Alright. Some encouraging words from Reset. 
for old Louie. Alright, take out the slime, continue heading north. Uh, oh jeez. The mushroom trying to eat us rather than us eating the mushroom. I, yep, another warrior's helm. We've already got that, so... This time, not worrying about equipping that. Not necessary. Back attack. Took a few hits on that slime. We can just pound this guy in the corner. Um, not something I ever thought I would say. Oh, that was really stupid of me. Took a lot of damage there, unnecessarily. I guess, technically, all damage is unnecessary, but, uh, you know, easily could have been avoided. Okay. Let's- oh, wow. I'm retarded. I was trying to get close enough to use that attack, uh, and hit multiple enemies, but twice, not just once, but twice, um, I underestimated the distance, uh, of where I was standing in relation to my enemies and paid for it. But... We're still doing pretty well. Uh, we've taken 7 damage, but we still have 36 HP. Uh, seems like the the floor is pretty large this time. Alright. Another ingredient we cannot yet identify. Okay, there's a bomb, but I think we'll be okay. I don't know, remember how big the explosion is, but yeah. Plenty of space. If there were, like, multiple bombs, I could see that uh, getting, you know, really messy really fast, but... Eh, not really a problem with one bomb, and you know, since there was only like one enemy there, no problem at all. All right, taking out the slime. Uh, this guy could be, yeah, could be a pain, but fortunately, we were able to anticipate his attack and take him down. These slimes take too many hits. Really easy, but you know, they take a lot of damage, which I don't appreciate. Alright, we got a shark fin. Another treasure, which is an unthankful statue, which is crap. Okay, so we've explored the entire floor. We'll take out this enemy right here. Oh, jeez. I got cocky. <laughs> and, um, and then we'll head to the exit. And to the west, and now to floor number three. Um, news! Okay. SP consumption halved. I can appreciate that, uh, though... Honestly, you know, at this point in the game, there aren't too many situations where I need to use my special moves. Um, I guess if I feel like at all I can take out... Oh, we just got... Oh, we got Slippery! I didn't know, uh, you know, what was happening there. What What hit me? I have no idea what hit me there. Oh, there's... I did not see the Wasp. I did not notice it at all. Man, he's keeping a distance. Okay, well... I want to recover here. Does this not go away? I don't remember. It's all such a blur. Okay, so I've got to learn to uh, to ice skate. Oh, I'm a terrible ice skater. Okay, we got a walnut bread. Um, which? How many items are we at now? Thirteen. I was gonna say we might want to use it, but we're not at that point yet. Um, you know, who knows? Uh, they say that the doors usually appear about five floors in. We're already three in. Uh, you know, if we have a, a bit of a drought on items, it could even happen that, you know, we need to hold on to all of our items. Though, you know, considering that I just picked up two items right now, that's looking, looking less and less likely, but uh, it is what it is. Alright, continually heading east. Taking out a red slime, and two more. We got half SP, so I don't feel bad about using that just on a whim. Only took uh, two SP. That's not bad at all. Okay, so we can head south, and then circle back towards the west. Once we take care of this wasp. We did get a wooden armband, which... Is that an increase for him? I don't know. No, it's not. Okay. Looks like we're gonna head south before we, uh... Oh, man. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, so now we're sitting at 10 damage. I might want to be uh, a little more careful here. Alright. Green slime, I do not fear at all. More slime fluid, which will probably end up getting dropped if I had to look into my crystal ball here real quick. Uh, looks like we're getting, you know, pretty saturated on items. We'll take care of this wasp. No, 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 no. He was preparing to attack, I think. Okay. Moving on to floor four. 
SP, consu ugh, SP consumption halved again. That's gonna make things easy for us. And I always like easy. Alright. I like my women easy. I like my food easy. You know. Oh man, we're already out of space. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is use the um, the walnut bread here, because that's worth basically nothing. Um, that's not true, but we will throw this away, and we don't care about that either. I'm sure we're gonna come upon other items that we'll, that we'll want to take. Um, honey, I seem to recall being fairly valuable. Oh, that was that was a disaster. Um, I got too into talking and not paying attention to the game. I was like, no enemies! No problem. Alright, so we got this goblin fellow. And... Easy! Unknown ingredient, and we are already stocked up on items again. Unthankful statues are worth almost nothing. So maybe we should get rid of that next. We have two of them. So we'll throw both of those away. Great. And we will ignore the unknown ingredient as well. Uh, at this point, I'm more interested in getting, getting items that are worth something. Unfortunately, I, I figured that we'd be able to circle around, you know, to the uh, to the east here. Water shroom. But that is not the case. We're going to have to come all the way back down to the south. And I think honey, again, is worth a lot, so that's worth picking up. But I think we're once again full up on items. But again, going back to what I was saying, we're gonna have to circle all the way back down to the south to explore the uh, the rest of the map here. Oh, looks right into the uh, snow bunny. Oh, jeez, exploding bomb. But again, an extremely easy trap to evade. I mean, I guess maybe if your mobility was limited and you had on the slippery ice thing or something, it, it might be able to get. Slightly. Ugh, there we go. Oh, still didn't avoid. Do it again, and again, and again. Whatever. That was rage. Okay, I'm fine now, though. I'm fine. Level-headed. And it does look like there is a path here going a little more east. On this path right here. Unfortunately, to exit, we are gonna have to go all the way back uh, to the west. So this map was kind of annoying. Easy to avoid this guy, uh, you know, as long as he doesn't take you by surprise, which he didn't that time. Um, that's a chestnut, I think. We're not too interested in that. We do have an item space. No, okay, we're full up. So in that case, I'm definitely going to ignore the chestnut. Uh, they said that the the doors are oftentimes about five floors in. I don't remember if you get a full floor and there's just a, uh, you know, a door on that floor amidst the rest of the dungeon, or if, uh, you know, the door just comprises the entirety of the fifth floor. It's all kind of a haze. I don't remember. So we're about to find out, you know, with any luck. I guess it's not guaranteed that we'll run into a floor uh, to a door here, but um, that would be rather disappointing if we didn't. Oh, jeez. Boss. Uh, Crown Slime. One damage? Oh! Um, I, I'm doing one damage. This is... This is very worrying. Um, this is very, very worrying. I'm out of SP. Uh, I suddenly extremely regret my spaz out on the uh, previous floor of spamming my skill. Like, oh, 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 it doesn't matter. Oh, this is this is a disaster. Okay, let him let him bounce, and then miss him three times. Great, that's just what I wanted. Okay, attack, uh, attack, 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 attack. Okay, we're just gonna we gotta be patient. We're still all right. All right, he did move out of the way. Our uh, attack spam. One more. There we go. Okay. Attack. One more. Doing good. Doing good. We made a great recovery considering how things started. Oh. And now... Okay, so when he shrinks, he becomes vulnerable to damage. But, I mean, even at one, I only have to... Or one damage per attack, I only have to hit him. 
11 more times now. And we did get some uh, some two damagers in there. Not that time. Four more hits. Yes! Got him! Oh, man. <laughs> that really worried me. But, uh, yeah, we, we made it. Okay, and there's no item, which I kind of expected that there would be, but... Um, <laughs> strategic withdrawal is definitely in order, considering that, uh, you know, we're full up on items. And, uh, and we need to deposit them. Came back alive. I picked up two, or rather, yeah, two chestnuts? That seemed like kind of a waste. Eh, well, whatever. I guess I wasn't paying attention that much. Whatever. I still think we got some pretty good loot. Um, again, I think honey is, like, worth 500 each. Okay, so we do have an event at the pub and the town square. We're gonna go to the pub first, because we have never had an event at the pub. Hopefully, the other event will still be available to us. What is it? Is alcohol yummy? Hmm. Well, alcohol, I, I wouldn't say in general it's yummy. The right kind is yummy. But, uh, I, I'm not a fan of cheap alcohol myself. Trying to drink a tree. Yeah, that doesn't sound too delicious. I love my fruity, uh, fruity foo foo drinks. Alright, that was random. Town Square! It's cold. Okay, it's just quiet. You said burr. Cute girl like me could end up in all kinds of peril! Capitalism ho! Don't sweat the small stuff. What are you kids doing out this late? Is it the Guildmaster? Who's gonna steal my cuteness? Yep, it's the Guildmaster. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured it would be him. <laughs> you know, we haven't run into that many characters yet. Uh, like I said, I do know there's more adventures, but um, but yeah. Okay, I think that we're gonna hold on to all of that merchandise that we've got. Um, so we're just gonna head back to the shop. We don't need to go to the market right now. So that is going to end our day, I believe. Yep. And tomorrow we are also going to adventure. Um, I didn't really pay that much attention to the time when we started this, unfortunately. But uh, I still think that we're going to be okay if we spend today adventuring and then we sell all throughout the day on the 7th. I think that'll work out. And that is, in fact, what we're going to do. So, yeah, this video might be a little longer, uh, I'm not terribly sure, but uh, we're going to go to the Adventurer's Guild after we see the event in the town square. What's going on today? Oh! Big says, wait! So, I think she might be another adventurer eventually? I don't remember, though. I don't think she's ever one that I use much, if she is. You're looking at those sisters. Hey, dear. How do you think people see us? as a weird loan shark and <laughs> and a uh, item shop proprietor. Big sister. <laughs> oh, man. You're way too good-natured, Reset. You've got a loan shark basically just trying to make sure that you don't have to sell yourself on the street. Um... Tier, and that's kind of it. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be worth carrying much with us for him. I mean, because figure the only thing that we've got is this. I mean, that does give him plus eight defense, but we haven't been taking a ton of damage. I feel pretty confident that that one item slot is going to be more worth it if we just, you know, depart and continue on. And I'm pretty confident we'll be able to pick up some kind of, uh, you know, some kind of quick upgrade for him on these floors as well. We've always been able to up until this point. I mean, maybe, maybe that's a terrible assumption. But uh, we'll find out. We don't have anything in the bag, but we'll say yes anyway. Okay, we've got some wasps here. Back off. Yep, just narrowly avoided that attack. <laughs> But we're okay. So uh, I need to remember this time, bosses generally going to appear uh, on those fifth floors. It seems so. Don't just spam. Uh, 
spam the SP attacks in the floor before the boss, or potential boss. You know, I don't know if every floor will have those or not. Again, it's all kind of a haze to me. It seems like I remember this cavern, though, sort of... Sort of being like the first time I had trouble. I mean, I might just be misremembering, but I think this might be the first area that killed me. So, uh, <laughs> given that I came in here without any real preparation, now I'm kind of second-guessing myself on that. And now we also have the, uh, slip and slide ability. Ugh. Which does not help my confidence. Ugh. Okay, take him down. Oh, jeez. Where did he come from? That's what I get for not watching my mini-map close enough. Where did that guy just disappear to? Okay, he, he went underground. That's not reassuring. And, ugh. Well, you cut that out. Okay, good. The... Uh, Winter Wonderland effect just went away. We have a wasp here. Thankfully, they die really quickly, even though they're annoying as crap to hit. Oh, jeez, bomb! Okay, I've always made fun of the bomb trap. Now is not the time to get hit by it and uh, make myself look like a complete douche. Oh, no! <laughs> Alright, great. Looks like we got a tangerine over there? Something like that? We'll get it after we take care of this snow rabbit. An orange. Uh, I guess that really would... <laughs> I don't know why I defaulted to tangerine rather than orange. You know, in a... <laughs> in an orange uh, circle. Oh, no! Oh. oh, no, 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 no. Kind of saw my life flash before my eyes there. Some more anti-venom. Powerful anti-venom. I don't know what the difference is. Uh, we've got a small gap here, so let's close that real quick. Take care of any enemies in here. We've got our green peanut and tentacle monster. What? What just... What? What is going on? Did I accidentally assign my special moves to the analog stick or something? Because he suddenly just started using that attack when I hit a direction. Uh-oh, looks like I'm gonna have to check my configuration. Um... I do think that at some point I might have had my uh, simple directional buttons, uh, you know, the directional pad, not the actual analog stick, um, assigned as uh, some special moves, but I thought that I had gotten rid of that. Um, apparently I did not, uh, because I'm pretty sure that using the analog stick like I am just automatically started spamming that attack. Okay, there's a lot of enemies over here. Uh, in the hopes of gaining some more experience, we're going to take them out, and then we're going to head around to the uh, to the east towards the exit at the first opportunity. So we're going to take out this guy, maybe a wasp. Nope, a slime. And he is done for. Pick up the uh, mystery ingredient. We'll take out this diglet mushroom thing. And we'll take out this enemy since he's right here. And then we'll move on to the next floor. We'll leave behind that slime thing, because we're going to get enough items to where we're not going to want to keep that anyway. And slimes seem to be everywhere, so slime fluids, you know, very easy to acquire if, uh, for whatever reason, we need them later. Oh no! Oh! Six damage? Man. I do need to start uh, worrying about armor in the future, it looks like. Pick this up. Uh, from a wasp, I would think that the ingredient would be honey, but uh, we hadn't had a, a problem identifying that. I guess sometimes, maybe, either, you know, sometimes you just don't know what an ingredient is for whatever reason, or, alternatively, um, that's an entirely different ingredient. He's gonna hit us. Oh, man, if he had went for his, uh, for his little flaming punch attack there, he probably would have hit us. Fortunately, he elected not to. And thus, we are safe. But yeah, I can't actually change the configuration on the fly, by the way. Uh, you have to go into the configuration tool, as you can see. Like, these are my only options in here. So we're going... I'm going to have to do that, uh, you know, before I start the game up next time. Make sure that uh, my attacks are not linked to my movement, because... Wow, that was close. Uh, <laughs> wow, I say that's close, and then go on to get hit twice by these things. Uh, that apple might prove valuable... Actually, as a healing item uh, in the future, if I'm not really careful. 
Fortunately, I do think that, you know, we're fine on recovery items for the time being, but, uh, you know, if I keep taking damage at this rate, that won't remain so. Okay, we'll go past the exit and check out what's over in this corner. Or, well, maybe corner. There might actually be more over here. There's not. Just a treasure chest. Um, okay, some kind of paralyzation. I guess that uh, restricts your movement for a second, which would be terrible in a pinch if you were still battling enemies. Um, because if you haven't noticed, mo mobility is absolutely key to your success in this game. Um, you know, that's why the, uh, the slip and slide effect of the Winter Wonderland thing has been giving me such trouble every time that it, uh, whoa, I actually didn't notice that wasp for a minute there. But that's why it's been giving me so much trouble is, you know, it, uh, oh, it restricts my ability to react to what's happening. Oh, random teleportation effect. Took us right to the exit, but, uh, we are not looking to exit. We're looking to get as much experience. Oh! And hopefully an increase in equipment as possible before we move on. Alright, take care of the poisonous mushroom. Okay, we're gonna take this guy hit at a time, because if we try to sit there and spam attacks, uh, as has been proven, I have a terrible track record of, of, record of dealing with those things. We're gonna head back this way, uh, where we got teleported. I kind of kind of want to take it, you know, one step at a time. And then we'll go around to the south uh, once we get there, uh, assuming that there's not a path to the west to take. Yeah, and I level up and again start spamming this stupid sonic boom sword attack. Ugh, man, that's annoying. So basically, I basically have to have to run through this entire area. Oh. I have to run through this entire area without using any special attacks because like an idiot I have uh, my that special attack assigned to my analog stick. Ugh. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have enough buttons to actually be able to use all of my special attacks. Um, isn't there a way to... to cycle? Okay, there is a way to cycle through my moves. So in that case, I can just assign, you know, there to be no quick uh, ability to use, you know, any attack other than the first one and scroll through to my special moves as I need them. Or at least in theory, I assume that that's how that works. When I originally played this, I didn't play it with a controller. I played it with the uh, keyboard. Now we can take care of this fellow. Um, oh, that was terrible. And one more. Okay, I, before we go down there, I want to take the path to the east here. This floor has been pretty bad for us, really. I mean, we leveled up, uh, which restored all of our HP, and even since then, we have taken uh, 10 damage. We can take care of that wasp. Timing and mobility, the key to success in Rissetir's dungeon runs. Okay, we're already out of space, and we still have a whole other floor to go. Um, I think that we're going to get rid of ingredients, because, you know, not knowing what they are kind of makes them less valuable to me. You know, I shouldn't get rid of that many at once. Because who knows, maybe the next floor is really small. Um, I'm really confident that we'll end up with three items. Did I investigate the edge of the screen over here? Y'all forgive me if I did. Brain fart, yeah I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have three empty slots now, so we have a little bit of opportunity to pick up some new items. Hopefully there's an enemy or a treasure chest over here. We do in fact have a snow bunny. We take him out. We get a nut mix. That's a new ingredient. Ugh. Took some damage that I really shouldn't have taken. Uh, we have another anti-venom, which is probably another thing on the chopping block. Uh, I seem to recall anti-venom not being, not being particularly valuable. But, uh, again, you know, this is going off of, you know, over two years in my memory, and I can hardly remember yesterday. Okay, let's try to time this. Okay, one is faster than the other. I don't appreciate that. Okay. Shell necklace. Is that something he can use? No, but I got a wooden helm at some point, which I completely derped and didn't equip until now. Um, with any luck... We will level up again before the next floor, which will hopefully give us full health for the boss, or theoretical boss. 
Let's not pick that up, because it should just be a slime fluid, uh, since it's from a slime. Time, time it. Okay. Okay, we got this. Wonderful! Pick up an apple, just in case. Okay, I'm gonna be prepared for a trap. And I was prepared for that, and I still took damage twice, and yeah, I'm trying to use my special attack uh, there when I do not have any SP. That was really dumb of me. I have no excuses. Just not being aware enough of what's going on. But that's okay. We still have 42 HP, right? So, you know, we're not in dire straits. And I do think that we're going to be able to level up before the next floor, um, as long as this isn't a you know, exceedingly short floor. And even, even if it is, um, you know, one or two enemies will spawn even after you clear the floor in certain areas. So if we have to, we will even just, you know, farm those for a minute in order to get the, uh, the experience we need. Okay, well, we're going to drop something to check out this chest. But the experience we need in order to level up. Clothes are worth almost nothing. Okay, a standard charm. I don't remember what that does. Is it, is it, okay, it is an increase. Magic defense plus 8. That seems like a, uh, a good thing to equip. Because I think we have mostly physical defense right now. So having something, you know, for the rare magical attack uh, seems, seems wise. A more even distribution of... Um, you know, of our defenses. Okay, that's the exit. We still haven't explored south. We've got a, uh, a little mushroom over here. Okay, we've got another mushroom here. That is... We already have one or two of those, right? What is that? Okay, we don't. The old muffler is worth nothing. I, I, oh, that's an adventure. But, uh, one of Louis' possessions. I don't know. Rusty dagger. We don't have anyone who can use daggers yet, so that's. I mean, that's in theory the equivalent of a a worn sword, which is worth what, like 200. Um. Hopefully, I won't regret that. I don't think I will. So let's continue to the south. We're almost at level 12. So. Oh no! Ah! Uh, thankfully, we are close to leveling up. Um, we should be able to level up off of, in theory, these two enemies over here near the exit, so we will take care of these two. Probably, yeah, mushrooms. And um, then we'll move on to the next floor and level up. That should do it. Yep! So now we have full HP. Oh no. Don't, uh, okay, well, yeah, I just have that assigned as a quick... Uh, move, so there's nothing I can really do about him just using that when I move, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I think this rat is what killed me uh, the first time. I seem to remember this guy being kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, man. He attacks quickly. Okay, Bubbles. Let's try to get down his pattern a little bit uh, before we go on the offensive. Let's not get overwhelmed if we can at all, uh, at all by the mushrooms. We're doing very... Oh, man. Very little damage to him, but that's not a good sign. Okay. Attack him, attack him. Okay, we got some kind of special mushroom there. We got egg toast. Did he just heal? Oh, that's bad. Um. 25 HP. How much is egg toast worth? We do have an egg toast, right? That's worth 20. Okay, so, actually, wow, the orange is worth more than the uh, egg toast. How much is this? 21 HP? It's only worth 300, though. I kind of want to use a HP recovery item and pick this up. We're going to use an apple. Now pick this up. Oh, jeez. Pick it up. Okay, good. Let's take care of these things. We're going to let him recover his HP and hope that there's a time when he's going to be extremely vulnerable that we just haven't seen. Ugh. We haven't seen his pattern yet. Um, if not, I think we'll quick uh, we'll quickly figure that out. Um, man, these things are, are really going to overwhelm us if we don't take them out quickly. I think we need more damage. I think we might be in a bad place in this fight. Okay, roll one, two. He's going to do it again. 
do it again. Yeah. He's gonna do it again. Okay, he did bubbles this time. Oh, I was gonna try to swipe the bubbles and see if we could hurt them, but I don't even think I would have hit them even if they were in the right or uh, even if they could have been. I think we, they would have collided with us first. Oh, that was terrible. This is really bad. Um, so far, he has not demonstrated any time at, when, at which he's vulnerable. Um, and he can heal for 50 HP. Oh, he's vulnerable! Do I just... Are these mushrooms required? Okay, the purple ones. He eats the purple ones, and then he becomes vulnerable. This is fantastic. I've been killing my... <laughs> I've been destroying the method which I need to destroy him. Oh, man. How lucky did I get on this? Okay, he restored some HP. Okay, so the red ones restore his HP. The purple ones poison him and make him vulnerable. So I need to destroy this one. Uh, there's a red one over there, which he's probably going to eat. No, okay, he ate the... Yeah! That'll do it! Whew. I really thought we were screwed there, if I'm being perfectly honest. All right. Um, the walnut bread is not going to do anything for us. How about the egg toast? Uh, let's get rid of something which is worth less than the egg toast. It's worth 500. Let's get rid of... Okay, slime fluid is worth almost nothing. Um, do we have a slime fluid that is not a plus? We do not. Um, the fur ball is not something we have many of. We have more slime fluids, I think, don't we? So, we'll get rid of the slime fluid plus, floor, plus four. Not plus floor. Um, we'll pick up the egg toast, and we will exit. I think, you know, that went pretty well. I was kind of worried about our chances going into this, but, uh, you know, it worked out well. And we have a full stock, and tomorrow is going to be, uh, you know, selling uh, all the stuff we've gotten over the past two days, which should, in theory, um, not be too difficult for us to pick up a, uh, a 2.5k uh, picks. Alright, a couple of events before we head back to the shop and call it a night. Where adventures in the pub? Do they like they like alcohol so much? They do like liquid pleasure. Quests, people give them work. The guild handles requests, but you can hire a guild adventure only if you possess the guild card. So people try to court, for lack of a better term, the adventurers here. And in allowing them to um of course, unless Kitty, Token Crows. <laughs> oh man, yeah, there's quite a variety there. So the adventurers are able to find work here as well. Find a lost kitty, can't do it because we're not the Adventurers Guild. Not a big deal, we've got enough on our plate as is. Let's go to the town square. Nobody's here. Wasn't it flashing? Or am I just crazy? Yeah, I'm just crazy. Alright, whatever. So now we're going to head back to uh, Rissatir. We're going to call it a night. Catch some Zs. We found a bunch of stuff. We uh, lost a lot of money. But still, our score is going up and, uh, and Tier approves of what we're doing right now. Since we're acquiring a vast stock of items. Alright. But... That is going to be the end of today's episode of Rissatir and Item Shop's Tale. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in to the next episode, which will be episode 5? Yeah, episode 5 of Rissatir and Item Shop's Tale. Thanks for watching, guys.